All right, hello, and thank you for joining me as I update you on my 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra uh, GT40 head rebuild project. As you can see, I got the lower intake manifold off, got the valve covers off, and now I'm working on removing the push rods. So let me give you an update so far on what I've got accomplished. Like I said, I got the lower intake off, uh, got it all cleaned up, uh, port matched the, the holes there on the intake with the gasket and with the upper Got the entire fuel rail and fuel injectors off so I can go ahead and get new o-rings on those before I put it back on to the intake Got the heater pipe here. It's a little rusty on the ends here I went ahead and got all the corrosion off and uh, repainted it and sealed it up uh, Inside is in excellent condition. So the corrosion was only on where the hose clamps went on right there got the valve covers off I went ahead and got the push rods on um, the number one, two, and three, four cylinders here. I got the other side loosened up, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to remove those. All right, I'm back now, and I'm going to go ahead and remove the push rods on this side. I've already cracked all the bolts, so they're pretty much uh, loose. Should be able to get them off with my fingers here. I don't want to remove each rocker arm. I want to keep the intact so I can keep track of them also. And when I take the heads to have them rebuilt, I want to make sure that guy can inspect them, make sure I don't need to replace them as well. So there's the one rod. Just loosen up this uh, bolt here enough. Make sure I keep the position of that right. Make sure you get that just enough so you can wiggle this out. And we'll go ahead and put it in here. It's the number five cylinder. I went ahead and made this box to replicate the engine so I can keep track of the push rods so I can make sure they go back where they came out from. Pretty simple task here um, being these type of rocker arms it's a little simpler you just got to loosen them up just enough to get clearance to pull the rod out there we go Go ahead and put that one in. I made the holes tight so it would hold them. And go ahead and tighten that back down so I don't lose anything. I'm not tightening it back, I'm just putting the screw back in so they're not slopping around. And it is a, a T45 hex head. As you can see, pretty straightforward. Just want to keep track of everything. Looks like I need a little bit more. Just to pull it out where it's not binding or touching. There we go. And that one's number, first one, number six. Okay. I'll tighten that, put that screw back in. Or I guess it's a bolt, whatever, cap screw, bolt, I'm not sure what you call it. All right, here we go. Oh. Oil. Making some noise. There we go. Let's see if I can do this. One hand on it, one hand on the rod. There we go, it's good enough. Here's the second one for number six. Okay, now we got seven and eight left. I'm trying to work off to the side here so you can see what I'm doing. But as you can see, pretty straightforward. But I'd watched, uh, tried to find videos on YouTube, not too many that show this step. So I thought I'd go ahead and document it. This was the one question I had if I needed to remove the push rods before I start unbolting the heads realizing that the push rods are providing spring you know pushing on the rocker arms and pushing on the valve springs I thought that spring tension would just make it more difficult so go ahead and do it this way seems like the best bet okay I think we got enough space there uh, no a little bit more there we go I don't want it to grind on there that one got a little crooked. I'll straighten that out. Okay. Back in place. There we go. Now we 
just got number eight to go. I just want to get that down so it's not slapping around. There we go. I don't plan on replacing the roller rockers here if I don't need to. So that's why I want to have an expert take a look at them, make sure there's nothing wrong with them. Because being the Cobra, it does come with crane cam roller rockers specifically designed for this engine. So if I don't need to replace them, I'm going to stick with what's been working. All right, one more. One more to go. There we go. And let's see if I can get work with my offhand here. So, oops, that's what I don't want. I don't want that slapping around. So I'll tighten that just a little bit more. There we go, good enough. Okay, get this one loose. I think that's enough. Yeah, just enough. Excellent. Okay. Press this one back in. All right, well there you have it. I got the rods off and the next thing left to do is get those head bolts off and get the heads off, get them rebuilt and clean off the gaskets. Um, I guess my next thing I'm probably going to do once the heads are off and getting uh, rebuilt, I'll go ahead and remove this uh, the cover here and uh, get the lifters because I'm going to definitely change the lifters while I'm in here. And other than that, looks like we're ready to, next step is going to be off with the heads. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for further updates on my rebuild project. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.